Hello, I want you to meet somebody. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing great. You doing great? Yeah. Hey, I heard you're the best in the business. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeremiah with Jeremiah 1 in 5. I am here with Derek Carr. And this season, he's thrown 602 passes for 3,522 passing yards. He's thrown 24 touchdowns. How do you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I wrote your stats down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this man's so smart. All right, so I'm only 10 years old, and I've been a Raiders fan all my life, so you've been my quarterback all my life. That's right. But that's not the reason why this feels like a dream come true to me. I admire and respect you so much because of the Christian man that you are on and off the field. And I know what that looks like because my dad is also a God-fearing Christian man, and he always teaches me to treat my mom like the queen of the family that she is. And I noticed something about you. That every time you talk about your wife, your face lights up. You smile like you're talking about your best friend. That's right. So, do you remember the exact moment where you realized that she was your queen and you wanted Miss Heather to be your wife? You're going to make me cry, man. This man, he's touching my heart. Uh, yeah, I actually do. You know, I uh, when Heather and I started dating, it was the first date that we went on. And I told her, I asked her what she wanted a husband, and I told her what I wanted in a wife. And uh, as we just began talking, I, I knew I was going to marry her at that moment. And so uh, I, treat, I, tell, I teach my boys, uh, just like your dad teaches you, to treat their mom the same exact way. She's the queen of my, our family. She, her name is Queen Heather in my phone. So it's funny that you said that. You must know something. No, I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm not the feds or the FBI. I promise. I promise. <laughs> but um, you guys have built a really cool family. And um, speaking of family, it seems like you're a really cool and supportive dad. But with all the NFL injuries that have happened as of late, let's say one of your kids, let's say Dallas, comes up to you and says, Dad, I want to be in the NFL. What would that conversation be like? You know what? If, if that's what's in his heart and, uh, and that's what he wants to do, I would absolutely let him pursue anything he wants to do. And I would support him and uh, give him all the information and anything that I could to help him achieve his dream. So uh, football, you're going to get bumps and bruises. It's going to happen. You know, I got a lot of scars from surgeries and things like that, but you know, football helped change my life. And uh, I've been able to bless a lot of people just by being able to throw a football. And so I would absolutely let him do whatever he wants to do. I'm not really worried about what's happening with you this coming off season, mm -hmm. because no matter what, no matter what colors you wear or what field you play on, we both know that God has you in his hands. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we don't even have control over it. And mm -hmm. on that note, can we say the serenity prayer to end this interview? Yeah, go ahead, please. All right. Can you say it with me? Go ahead. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. That's unbelievable. You're the best. <laughs> oh All right, thank you so much You're for the, best. the interview. Thank you so Can much. Literally the best interview.